Did you know that you could add GIFs to your always on display? Now, I know it doesn't add too much value, but it's always on display, so you might as well have something that looks good on your screen. Go to your lock screen settings, then always on display, and then go into clock. There would be an option with GIF, and then there would be some inbuilt GIF options that you could choose from. Now, these ones are really cute. They've got this neon effect, so they look nice, but you can always go into themes, always on display, and then download even more GIFs uh, or even static images, either for free or for a small amount, depending on which one you like. Now, there is no notification LED, but I've set up my Galaxy Note 10 to show me these colorful notifications from various apps. So if I have an Instagram, it's pink. If it's Slack, it's blue. If it's WhatsApp, it's green. And all of this is actually built in. So if you go into display, edge lighting, obviously first make sure it's turned on, and then go into color, and then choose app color. Now, the Galaxy Note 10 would automatically allot colors to all the apps depending upon their app icon color. And that's how it sort of personalizes each notification color. And here's what I have for Google Keep. It's a yellow icon and I get a yellow notification. Now, I don't think all of you are using the time of flight sensor. There's an app called Quick Measure that you can just download from the Galaxy Store. And this sort of measures objects and people in real time. So just point at an object and as long as there's good lighting, it'll give you almost accurate uh, measurements. And if it doesn't give you, you can just, you know, manually turn the camera and you can measure height, width or length of any object. I think it's pretty cool. Next, the side panels. I don't think people understand the flexibility and the tools that a side panel can offer. For example, this calculator. It's just so easy to slide out a calculator, use it and be done with it instead of searching for it inside the app drawer. Now, there are a bunch of side panels that are available in the phone and in the Galaxy App Store. Now, these are the ones that are pre-installed and you can just enable or disable them. So just have a look, see what makes sense for you and for the kind of work you do or for the kind of actions you perform on your phone. You know, if you need reminders on your edge, you can do that. Now, you can obviously rearrange them, uninstall them, but you can install new ones in the Galaxy Store. And there are quite a few that keep getting added. So just, again, browse through these. Some of them are paid, some of them are free, and they're just really useful. You can get reminders, live stock information, live news, missed call alerts, notifications, just a lot of stuff. Now, while there is an inbuilt screen recorder in most Android 10 smartphones, the one in Note 10 is actually a bit special. You know, a lot of times I try and give feedback to people. It's very difficult on the phone, but with the screen recorder of the Galaxy Note 10, it becomes amazingly simple. Because with the S Pen, I'm able to mark and highlight areas where I need someone's attention. So for example, if I'm telling my designer that, you know what, uh, I don't like how this input field looks. Uh, it may not, it shouldn't be that square. And maybe, you know, you could uh, round the edges. I can say all this while I'm showing it to him as if he's sitting right next to me. Now that's the, that's the power of the S Pen that you can use on the Galaxy Note 10 screen recorder and it just changes the way you interact with people when you're not with them. Of course, you can activate the front camera so you know you could be in it and it'll look more personal and as if you know you're the one talking to them eye to eye. So yeah, it's pretty cool. And once you're done, just hit stop and it'll just record and save everything in your gallery, which you can again play back. And you'll see that it's absolutely high definition. It's in 1080p. It's recorded everything that I have said. And again, all the, all the S Pen entries are there too. Once I'm satisfied, I can just share it on WhatsApp or on Slack or any of my work group communications. I think we already know about the screen of Memo, where if the phone's locked and you pull the S Pen out, you can take a note instantly. But did you know that if you hit the reminder, sorry, the pin icon, uh, it'll pin that reminder or that note on the always on display. So that's what you see for the next 30 minutes. Now imagine the kind of things that you can do. You can just write down stuff that you need to do instantly and have it in front of you all the time until you're done with it. And lastly, guys, Bixby Routines. It's not just a Note 10 feature, it's a One UI 2.0 feature. It's been around for a while, but I think people are just not using it and they don't realize the power of automation and how it can save them time. For example, if my car is connected automatically via Bluetooth, a couple of things are initiated by the Note 10 automatically. 
so my phone will start taking some actions to make sure I have a seamless car experience. In the night, it will automatically mute my phone, turn the blue light filter on, reduce brightness and turn into dark mode. If I open YouTube, then auto rotation should be turned on. So Bixby routines, again, it's very simple. You predefine a condition, which if it is met, for example, you define between this time and this time, do this. And when you say do this, there are a couple of things that you can make your phone do. And that is a lot of things that you can instruct your phone to do. So go through the list, explore Bixby routines and see how you can make it work for you. It's just one time setup and then you can forget about it. And there you have it guys, seven features or tips and tricks that I think people are not using in their Galaxy Note 10s. So I just thought I'll share with you. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and learned something new. If you've got any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments section below. Thank you for watching guys, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. I'll see you in the next one.